Well, this beautiful bird is Chinook, and Chinook is a Harris hawk who's about five years old. Oh, very interesting. And uh, she's very vocal here. Um, I, now, Kim has had Chinook since, what, about five months old? Oh, about five months old, yeah. So this is your is your rock star. Kim calls her a rock star. This is the rock, <laughs> this is the rock star of, of what we do at Skyline Falconry. So. And is this, uh, we've already seen the peregrine falcon and the snowy owl. This is the Harris hawk. Tell, us, tell our viewers a little bit about the Harris hawk. Well, this is Chinook. Uh, she is a female Harris hawk. She's about five years old. And uh, these guys are desert dwelling birds. So they're found in places like Arizona, Chile. Arizona is very, very common for Harris hawks. And um, they're actually the only bird of prey species that hunt in a group so no other birds of prey species they hunt in a group these guys hunt in a group called a casting or what we falconers call as a casting and it's normally made up of multiple family members whereas the young ones have um, are the ones that do most of the the grunt work so to speak <laughs> and the adults are the ones that uh, take point and, and scout and things like that so they all work collectively uh, kind of like wolves which has actually earned them the nickname wolves of the sky oh, wow. because of that so and what are they? Uh, what are they? What does a meal look like for them? Primarily, a meal for these guys is uh, jackrabbits. Um, sometimes they will go after lizards and things like that, other birds. Um, and uh, one of their other predators that they're always wary of is, is, of course, the coyotes. So because of that, these guys have a little bit of an inherent uh, disliking to uh, dogs, especially my dogs. Oh. Um, <laughs> Some, sometimes you can actually pair them together and, and work together as a team when you're out hunting, but it takes a bit of, uh, bit of training and everything so like that. You kind of have the dog flush out the prey. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And she's waiting above and away you go. Oh, I love it. Teamwork. That's really interesting that they work together in a family. That's really neat. I've never really heard of that before. No, and what's really, what makes these uh, types of birds here really valuable for falconry is the <laughs> fact that they work. I, I, we're talking about that. <laughs> is the fact that they do work collectively in a group and they have a social hierarchy. So, I mean, she looks at me as being part of that group, which makes it a bit easier to train and, and makes things uh, run pretty smoothly together, eh? Oh, those tail feathers are amazing. She does have beautiful tail feathers, and of course she does have her wonderful, yes, I know, we won't touch the toes, the wonderful set of weaponry here. Um, and unlike the peregrine falcon, um, her hunting style is basically a smash and grab kind of deal. So she'll smash into cactuses, into the brushes and, and bramble and everything like that. And she'll use her long feet with her heavy duty talons to just grab her prey. So. Oh, it's kind of shake it loose. Yep, then, just oh. shake it loose. They'll just smash right in there and away they go. So she's, she, we found her in, in many different spots when we go hunting. She's had one wing up, one wing behind her back, and, but yet she's had a rabbit on the other end. So it's oh. always works out to our advantage, eh? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Do you do um, anything out in the public with uh, Chinook, like how you do with um, Evie? Actually, yeah, we bring her to our educational uh, programs and we normally do fly her, uh, whether it be, you know, to the fist or to posts and everything like that. Um, we do a lot of programs at the college and university and we're really hoping that we can get into some of the other schools like the public school board as well as the secondary school board, um, you know, to uh, show these birds in an educational setting because it's really important um, for everybody to see that, so. That's yeah, a great idea. I mean, if there's any teachers at home watching this and you'd like to get um, these guys in your classroom, I mean, reach out to Kim, and I'm sure she'd love to, to be there. Definitely. Is it, so what about the size? This is, is this full-grown now for Chinook? She is a full-grown size bird, um, and again, with uh, the other birds of prey, the females are a lot larger, so she does have a good size to her, um, and we picked that specifically because she is going to be tackling some pretty big birds up to Canada geese size sometimes. Oh, wow. no so way. she does love going after Canada geese, so <laughs> we need to make sure that she's going to have enough girth to her that she can handle such a bird in case mummy isn't around to pull her off, eh? Oh, that is so cool. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. You're Thanks welcome. for showing us these guys. We're going to be back with one more segment with Janice and Kim talking about birds of prey and, and, and what that looks like. So keep watching Go on Shaw TV.